Say your name. My name is Solar. Occupation? Uh, Crumba. Pung Pung? How long have you been riding? Uh, it's like 97, I guess. 97? Yeah. Uh, why, why are you doing it? Uh, well, first I did it just for lack of anything else to do. It's kind of consumed me, though. So where where have you been? Where all have you been tagging? Where'd you start? And where where have you gone? Since? Started out East Dallas. That's uh, still my favorite place to paint. Painted uh, a lot of mainly in Dallas. A lot of stuff in Baltimore and uh, New York City now. Moved on to New York. How's that working out for you? Pretty good, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So you've been going back between Dallas and New York City? Uh huh. Yeah. Um. So you've gotten some recognition. I know I wrote a story in Rough Magazine. Yeah. On you. I know. I think Merritt Martin did one in the yeah, Observer yeah. at one point, right? Yeah. Have you gotten any other magazines that you've gotten any write-ups in? Oh well, yeah. Tomorrow, uh, our prostitute number whatever comes out. I'm gonna be. I got a little feature in there. So. And then, uh, like. No, I guess that's it. What about the Wooster Collective? Oh, right, yeah, 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 on their, yeah, on their website, yeah, the WoosterCollective.com, right. You've gotten on there a couple times, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, do you, I guess you have a style, so to speak, do you not? Yeah, I guess, I what, guess so. What would, what would you describe your style? Um, simple, elemental, kind of human form. Um, try to keep it as basic as possible, you know, for a number of reasons, like, first of all, it's pretty much the way it's developed because, you know, you gotta do it fast and, um, a lot of time when you're doing something new on the internet. So, that's pretty much where it came from, developing, uh, you know, developing from there. Um, I, you have a piece in the good Latimer Tunnel. Oh, yeah, yeah. How, how did that come about, and is that, that's one of your first large pieces, isn't it? Yeah, that was the biggest, that, that was the most complex large thing I did since, you know, to, well not to date, but you know, at that point that's, that was the largest thing I did. That was, uh, I guess, 2000, 2001, something like that. That was uh, my friend Frank, Camp Magna, he hooked that up, pretty cool guy. He does the paintings on a Gypsy Tea Room. So what's your favorite thing to tag? Oh man, everything. <laughs> everything? Anything that'll, uh, you know, the, the ideal spot, you know, rides forever. Um, big as fuck, and gets seen by the most amount of people, you know. Highway, highways and... Uh, highways, you know, off trains, like off mass transit, stuff like that. Uh, trains are pretty cool. Um, yeah, uh, you've been in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, it sucks, a little trouble here and there, you know. Here. It's kind of unavoidable. I made a few slip-ups, but um, I'm trying to avoid it. I guess costs. that's the name of the game, huh? Yeah, pretty much. The uh, game game. As far as uh, influences, other writers that you really enjoy, uh, other artists, that sort of thing? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, like, mainly in Dallas, I guess people that got me started would be, like, IC, the Infinity Crew. Uh, dudes like Eon. Eon was, like, a real big influence in the beginning. And um, kids from DAC. It's kind of like a wandering graffiti writer. Um, other artists, just, I don't know, man. Secto, Sect, is uh, my, my good buddy. He always pushes me. But he's got more fire than anybody, so like when it's good to hang out with him, you know, it kind of gets me going, gets me souped up. So do you go out alone, or you go out with a crew, or? Well, I like to go out with as few people as possible. I mean, going out alone is good, but going out with one other person is ideal because they can like watch your back. You watch their back, and um, you know, going out alone though does have its advantages in that you're a lot less conspicuous and um, kind of easier to to kind of blend in and sneak around and that kind of shit. Escape that sort of thing. Escape, yeah. Um. And as far as the, the future and why why you love this and what you're gonna keep, keep yeah, I don't know. It. Keep keep it going. Keep writing on as much stuff as possible and don't get arrested. You know, try and shove it down more people's throats and uh, yeah, get better. So and you you draw a little character, a little little guy, and he has different personalities and different uh, ethnicities almost. Yeah, you can yeah. tell if one's 
black or one's Mexican or uh -huh. or a lady or a man or that sort of thing. How, how did that kind of evolve? Well, when did you first do that character? She's kind of kind of was like a, a real organic evolution. Where in that like it wasn't one point where I just started doing them. It uh, started from um, one character and then broke off in a few different directions. And some of uh, the avenues I explored with it have kind of gone nowhere, and others are better than others, you know. And uh, just keep a lot of times just keep drawing the same thing, and then something you find maybe works out a little better. You leave the other thing behind and continue with the with the new little whatever it is, like rib cage or um, a dick. A, a dick, yeah. However, you want to draw it, like you know, little swirlies or pubes or however. Right, right. Um, did did it start out? Did you did you first draw it on a wall, or did it start like on a book cover? Well, I was doodling, you know, um, first with the stuff I do now. Just kind of get a doodle, and then you step to the wall. But a lot of stuff, you know, developed while I was painting. That's what I feel like most inspired. But I'm actually like I all like the juice flowing, and um, you know. But yeah, a lot of it's doodling, just kind of pen and paper. So check the walls, man. I speaks for itself. All right. Well, uh, maybe we'll get some uh, get you doing some uh, some work here in a second. Got it. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Guess that's it. Huh?